Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add some sounds to your sprites in the Animate Your Name project. So we've already got some code. We make it so then we click on the letter J. It's going to change the color and change the fisheye, but I wanna add in sounds. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here on the top left to the sounds tab. When I click on it, it opens up this thing. And it's already got a sound. It says meow right here for the title. And when I play it, it definitely sounds like a cat meowing. Perfect for the letter J. Uh, just kidding. So I don't actually like that one. So I'm going to click the X and that's going to get rid of it. Goodbye, meow. And now to add in a sound, I go down here and I have some different options that I can choose from. But I'm going to choose the sound that Scratch has already um, added to their platform. So when I click on this, it gives you a whole bunch of different options right here. Now, if you move your mouse over it, you can actually hear what the sounds kind of sound like. Or you can even use the different tabs that are up here and it'll filter into different things. You know what? I actually kind of like that bat. <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh actually. So I'm going to go with this one as my sound. So um, I'm going to click on it and now it adds it into my sounds tab. So now I can actually use this in my code. So if I go back to the code right here, there is a sound section when I click on that, it's got these different blocks right here. Now, there's a couple of different sounds. One is play sound until done, and then another is start sound. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually start the sound as soon as I click and then run the rest of the code. So let's listen to it now. Awesome. Now, if I had used the play sound until done instead of the start sound, here's what it would have done. So I click. You notice how it changed effects after it finished? The reason why is because we said to play the sound until done. So once it finishes, then it goes to the next block. Whereas start sound, once you start playing this, it immediately goes to the next block. So I actually like this one better than play sound until done. So what you're gonna do, uh, you've already got all your color effects on your letters. You're going to add in different sounds, unique sounds for each one of the letters in your name. And you can either use the play sound until done or start sound, that's up to you. So in addition to using the play sound and the start sound, I would really recommend you try out all these other sounds that are in here and see what they do. So check out what those different blocks are and then definitely experiment with all the other blocks that are also in Scratch. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.